Hello everybody, it's me, John from JFM Development, and today I'm going to show you how to update your LG 360 cam in order for you to get time lapse as well as better performance from your camera. So this is going to help you install the firmware and also update the app. So let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is update the app in the phone. Because if you don't update the app, this isn't going to work. So let's do that. So to update the app, obviously you go to the Play Store. Type in LG360 Manager. There you go. And mine is already updated. So I don't have to do this, but you guys will probably see an update if you haven't updated it already. Now that we updated the app on the phone, now it's time to connect the 360 camera to your computer in order for it to install the preliminary drivers. Now that's connected, if you've never connected it to your computer before, it'll start installing the drivers. Once that's all set, now it's time to get the software in order to update the firmware for your device and it's called the LG Bridge software. So the link will be in the description. It's www.lg slash us blah 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 and that's going to be in the description so just click on that link. Next what you want to do is you want to scroll down to where it says mobile devices and then you're going to want to click that and then it's going to ask you for step two if it's a cell phone or whatever it is just hit cell phone because it's an LG friend then you can click whichever carrier you want um, this is going to help uh, specialize different updates if you have a phone too like say you have a LG G5 from T-Mobile or AT&T it's going to help you update for that particular thing so make sure you get the carrier that you have I'm going to hit T-Mobile because that's my carrier and then it's going to ask you which device mine's the LG G5 T-Mobile and Silver if you do not have any of these devices, then it doesn't matter. If you're using like a Galaxy S7 with it, just hit any device, any carrier. It's not going to matter when it comes to updating the camera. So I'm going to click that now. Now a window will pop up. And in this window, it will give you the options to download the LG Bridge for Windows or for Mac. I'm going to do Windows because I already have Windows. Then you click that and it will start downloading. Alright, I'm going to cancel this because I actually already have the software. So once the device is plugged in already, just open the LG Bridge software. Now once it opens, you'll notice that it will start trying to detect the device that's connected. Now once it detects the device, it'll ask you if you want to sign in, or actually it'll ask you if you want to sign in before, but I already signed in. You can sign in with your Gmail address. And then this is for the air drive, or see if you notice right here it says LG R105, that is the LG360 cam. Now all you do from here is click on the software update tab, and then if you press software update, it will check if you need a software update for your device but again mine is already updated to the latest version thus the video I already have on how to do a time lapse this video is just an add-on video showing you how to update the firmware so you can get the time lapse which I'm going to link this to my time lapse video and see how it says your phone is up to date it's really a camera but it's the same thing so that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope this was very informative for anybody who is having trouble. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And you guys have yourselves a great day.